Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Aquarius, for the first half of October 2023. Let's get right into it, Aquarius. How are you all doing? If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And just a reminder, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Aquarius, anywhere in your chart, really, or if you're just checking in on an Aquarius. All are welcome here. It just might not resonate with all of you. But welcome, welcome, Aquarius. What is going on? Let's get you a moon oracle card. Let's take a look at Aquarius. The end of a tough cycle approaches the full moon in Capricorn. Love that, Aquarius. Love that. The end of a tough cycle is here. And balance, spirituality, and practicality. The full moon in Pisces. Hmm. Need some balance to come in here see what that's all about what kind of animal spirit guide is up in the ether for the sign i saw the eagle for the sign of aquarius spirit tell us about aquarius oh the moth the deer the octopus and the dragon oh my look at this beautiful moth the master of light here the bird of saint anthony coming through here for transformation for transformation of something in your heart space here with the deer this is all about soothing your heart and healing your heart Getting rid of some of these messier relationships, some of these things that have really held you back. You're taking a closer look now. You're looking deeper at these relationships. So that's beautiful. That's really beautiful because you are on a quest for transformation here. Transformation rising up. On the bottom of the deck. Oh, yeah. Look at this. The raccoon. You've been hiding out. Hiding out in the shadows. Not wanting to peek your head out yet. Just, just feeling very safe and warm in the dark. Just leave me alone. Just leave me here. I want to be by myself. <laughs> That's because these relationships have been a little messy, have taken a lot from you. So you're feeling very tired, very worn out when it comes to relationships. Zen tarot card for up in the ether for the sign of Aquarius. Spirit, tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. Silence. See, you're commanding it right now. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to do anything about it. I just want to stay here. Just leave me. Leave me be. <laughs> oh my God. But look at this, a new vision coming in. So you're not going to be left alone here for too much longer. Look at this with past lives. Hmm. Hmm. Somebody coming in, somebody coming in to stir up the mix here, to mix up, get you kind of uh, out of these shadows, out of your, uh, away from your mask here, away from this hiding here that you've been doing, been hiding out here. What are you thinking about? What's on your mind, Aquarius? What is on your mind? Tell me what's on Aquarius's mind right now, spirit. What is on Aquarius's mind? Oh, the two of wands making a decision. Absolutely in decision mode trying to figure out where to go from here, where, what's next, what's next for me. So you can feel the end of this cycle. You can feel that things are changing, that transformation is here, but you're just kind of leery. You don't want to, you don't want to see yet. You don't want to know yet. Probably not even watching this reading. I don't want to know. <laughs> I get like that too. <laughs> I get like that when I'm really in decision mode, I don't listen to, and I listen to card readers all day long on YouTube. But not when I'm really trying to make a decision. And that's exactly what you're doing here. You're trying to make a decision. You're trying to figure something out here. You're leaving something behind. And um, that's scary. You're going out kind of on your own here. Feeling very alone here. Feeling very much on your own here. What's the hopes and fears? My God, look at these knights. you got the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles here. All about money. You're going out on this kind of new journey when it comes to money. Trying to figure out the finances here. And uh, not really saying what you, you want to do here or where you want to go here. Keeping it to yourself. Keeping, keeping this very, very private. But um, yeah, you're on a quest. You're on a quest to bring in the money. Bring in the money. What's a future thought? Future thought for Aquarius. Future thought. Some kind of new vision comes in for you when it comes to money. Some kind of new idea. Let's see. What's future thought for Aquarius? 
Ooh, celebration with the three of cups and a walking away with the eight of cups. So yeah, something new, some kind of new idea, some kind of extra stream of income here and leaving something behind. You are absolutely leaving something behind. Maybe it's those messy relationships or those naysayers or those people that don't think that that can happen. And so that just kind of rains on your parade and you're moving towards some new dream, some new idea of how to make money here, how to make an extra uh, income here, the uh, second stream of income here. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love this. I love this. You're not really looking back. You're not really regretting anything of how you got here. You're celebrating. You're celebrating this new idea, this new vision that's come in. But it does mean cutting some kind of tie here that is not meant to come forward with you. What are you feeling about that? What's Aquarius feeling about that? <clears throat> oh, justice. Look at this. This is owed to you. This is due. This is due to you. Justice comes in Libra energy to balance things out, to uh, manage the scales here, to manage the weight on your shoulders here, to relieve some of the weight off your shoulders here and really balance things out. Beautiful, beautiful Libra energy coming into the mix here. The number 11 Whew, the karmic justice, the karmic justice that allows you to come back out into the light. You've been searching for the light. You have had a really hard time finding it. There's been a lot of confusion, a lot of cloudiness behind you here, but you are moving toward the light here, moving towards some new idea, some new dream of yours, and it's a way to make income, a way to make money here. Karmic justice is here. Karmic justice. Oh, I almost forgot to look at the eight of wands here, that very fast moving energy. So this comes in very fast. As soon as you start changing your mind about the way you think about things, the way you're managing things, you get some idea about a second stream or a, a, a different way to make money here, a second stream of income here. And that boy, once you get the idea, you are off and running. You are not looking back. You're very much celebrating this uh, decision of yours. Hopes and fears in the heart space for Aquarius. What are the hopes and fears? What are the hopes and fears for Aquarius? Hopes and fears. Oh my God, so many. Look at this with the nine of cups, that dream come true, that wish come true. The chariot comes into the mix and there you are, Aquarius, with the beautiful, beautiful star energy, the replenishment, the rejuvenation, the the ticket out, the ticket out. This is the ticket out, this idea, this idea about money and how to make money, this new adventure that you are on, how to, how to do this. It's like you found the guidebook. You found the secret code here. You found the answer here. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It really sparks your heart up again, gets you excited about things again. Whatever this idea is, it excites you. It gets you up in the morning. It fulfills you. Absolutely fulfills you, but you have changed your stars. You are right in the middle of this decision mode. Do I stay or do I go this way or that way with the chariot, that cancer energy? And you've got the balance to make this decision. You're very, very good with money. You're very good with money and you're getting some kind of miracle here, some kind of miracle coming in for you, Aquarius. Yes. Oh God, do I love that. It just really fills you up again. It fills all those empty cups again. All those cold cups uh, just get reheated, just get rejuvenated right back into the nine of cups that, oh, this is what it's about. This is the way it's supposed to be kind of feeling. Oh boy, do I love that. What's in the foundation? What's this all about, spirit? What's this all about? Reciprocity with six of pentacles. I love that. It's just your turn. It's your turn. The wheel has turned here and it is your turn to feel the love, to know the love, to uh, trust, trust in the universe again, trust that all is well with me. This is beautiful. This is so glorious. Really tempering those emotions, tempering the way you feel about chaos and being in control of that chaos. You've really just taken this giant leap back and that's why you're in the shadows. That's why you're kind of hiding out. It's just like, I'm going to let them fight amongst themselves while I go make money. <laughs> 
That's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And in the interim, while you're doing that, good Lord, look at the fool on the bottom of the deck. And then the moon wants to just show itself right here. Look at this. This is huge. While you're doing that, here comes love. Here comes the fulfillment. Here comes your heart's desire here. While you're just walking away from the dark, walking away from the chaos, walking away from the division, the confusion, the cloudiness here, just walking away on this silent retreat, not even telling anyone about it, just really moving into your peace here, to your serenity here. My God, is that glorious. Oh God, I love this. I love this. Just a walking away, just an I don't care. I don't care. I've got such bigger dreams. I've got such bigger goals. And uh, let the sky fall. I don't care. I am getting my dreams. I'm getting what I want. I am making the decision to be happy. And that's the only decision I ever had to make was I am going to be happy here. I'm going to uh, just grab life by the horns again and take a chance. Take a chance. I'm smart enough to do this. I have already planned this out. You've already planned this out with the Page of Pentacles, this this other stream of income here. So you're just going for it. Hopes and fears in the foundation for Aquarius. Spirit, I mean, there's that temperance. My God, the major arcana is insane. Aquarius, look at this beautiful Sagittarius, a uh, fiery balance coming into you now, really understanding the, uh, the way where you are now, just really honoring where you are here. I'm hearing um, the Buddha with uh, bloom where you are. Aquarius is blooming where they are. They cannot let the externals dictate how they feel anymore because that was too out of control. I can't, I can't control that. And so I need to control myself here. I need to control my reactions to things here. That's all that matters. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're just harnessing it in, just harnessing the energy in, harnessing it back and uh, controlling, really controlling, especially with your finances. You've really got some good idea here, some good uh, 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 divinely guided to you ideas about how to make some extra money here. And you're just moving right into that. It's just like, I don't care if, if you know, you're, it's like you're investing in the stock market and everyone's saying, oh my God, it's going to crash. It's going to crash though. Don't you see the crash? And you're just like, yeah, but it's you know, it's not going anywhere. So I'm going now while it's, while it's low, while it's low price. You're like that Warren Buffett type mentality here where um, you're buying when they're selling. You're not buying the fears. You're not buying the, uh, the lies here, the influences here. You're just uh, buying when they're selling here. This is glorious. This is so glorious. God, Aquarius, this is going to be huge. This is going to be very big. This is payoff. It's going to be beautiful because it's just tailor made for you because of what you're buying here. And you're, you're like the silent partner. You're just not even showing yourself. You're not doing it for the fame. You are not doing it for the fame. You're doing it for you and your stability and your security and your retirement here, your estate here. You're doing it for you. Wow. 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 I, I can't wait to see what this is, but there is love here. Love is sneaking in on you. This Libra energy of balance. You got to have that life work balance too. It can't just all be about the money and you're understanding that. You're understanding that. What fun is it if I'm here by myself though? So you're allowing this other energy in. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. Future, future foundation, future situation. Oh my God, the eight of cups, but it's in my clarification deck. So walking away again, walking away. I'll put the eight of cups on the eight of cups. Future foundation, future foundation for Aquarius. What's the future situation? Oh my God. Look at you. Look at you. Hats off to you, Aquarius. You did it. And the spiritual crowd goes wild. A real, real honoring of you and knowing and knowing who you are. Just stepping into that spotlight and changing your stars. Just absolutely changing your stars here. This is glorious. This is glorious. You're just really celebrating something, celebrating a huge victory here. And it has to do with your creativity. It has to do with you stepping outside of the norm here and taking a chance, really doing it silently, not sharing this with anyone. You are that silent investor, that silent partner here. And it pays off big, big. Just you can go anywhere you want to go. You can travel the world. You can incognito. You're still incognito. Like I said, this is not about fame. You don't want your face to be seen. You don't want that kind of attention. You just want to know that you are your own superstar here and that you will be safe 
and and this love partner too as well there's a partner here that's absolutely glorious and uh an exchange here an exchange of energy here with this beautiful uh libra energy so absolutely glorious god do i love this look at the bottom of the deck the high priestess you've been let in on the secrets now you've got, you've got the inside trade going on now Aquarius. <laughs> you absolutely do. You have the inside scoop because you haven't been the loud mouth. You haven't been out there talking the big game. You've been behind the scenes. You've been the man behind the curtain here <laughs> and you've been figuring it all out. And while everyone else was fighting for the crumbs or fighting for the leftovers here, you were in the back room, just really managing this and figuring this out and and getting your strategy together, just absolutely getting your strategy together here. And that's where you learned all this ancient wisdom, all this uh, way beyond what the textbooks have taught you. King of Cups, you put yourself on this island and Four of Cups, here comes the miracle. Here comes the hand of God for Aquarius. It's just so beautiful, <laughs> so beautiful. All right, let's see. Let's take a look at the two of wands and the, 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 the idea that started all this first, you were in decision mode. What do I want? Where do I want to go? You just kind of had this, uh, this idea of something different. And then this plan started forming. I want to see what this plan is for Aquarius. What was this plan? Ace of swords, the truth, the truth shall set you free. You just move toward the truth. You moved away from the fear. You moved away from what people were trying to get you to consume and you, you just didn't, you, you may have pretended you were consuming it, but you were not consuming it. You were hiding it underneath your tongue and spitting it out later. It didn't fit with you. It didn't, it didn't resonate with you, but you didn't say a thing. And that's just so beautiful because you didn't want to get involved in the arguments or the fights or the back and forth. You didn't want to defend why you believed the way you believed. And that is glorious, glorious, because that's what's allowed you to move away from the chaos, to just not even look back here, to just move forward into what you need to do here, where you need to go here. It's so beautiful. Well, Knight of Pentacles, what's this offer coming in? What's this offer coming in for Aquarius? What is that all about? The Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. That gets you conflicted. It gets you conflicted. And maybe it's an offer comes in for like a job at a, a, a higher paying place or something like this. Or maybe there's less responsibilities and more pay or something like this. And that really conflicts you because you want to do something independently. You want to do something independently from what the norm is, from what you are told you were supposed to do or how you were just kind of raised into doing something here. So it just puts you back up in your head into decision mode again when this offer comes in, some kind of offer comes in. So what do you do with this offer? What do you do with this offer after you get out of your head and uh, think about that? You're such a good strategizer. So what, what happens with that offer? What happens? two of swords. No, you're just not out of it yet. You're not out of it. You can't figure it out yet. You need more information. You need more, more information. So you're not signing anything until you get more information. You're not just willingly jumping into anything because you're way too seasoned for that. You're way too prepared for the fine print here. So you're just not falling for any of it. You're really, really thinking about this. It doesn't look like uh, you, you make a decision. Um, not, not with the mind. Do you make it with the heart? You make it with the heart strength. Strength comes out on justice. So yeah, you just hold strong and you get everything you want. It's just all the fine print comes up. Then everything is revealed to you. Everything is shown to you because of your strength, because of what you know, what you're doing. You're not just talking. You're not just a talker. It's like, I, you know, what else I'm hearing is money talks, wealth whispers. This is wealth, Aquarius. This is wealth you are acquiring. And that's why you're so whispering about it. You're the lion energy. You are the king of the forest here. You don't have to scream what you have here because you don't want everyone to know what you have here. So that is brilliant, brilliant. But you are really gaining a fortune here. You're really garnering your security here when it comes to money my God, my God. So it doesn't take you too long to just go back and forth on these decisions. You just need quiet time to do so. You need to be alone. You can't have those outside influences. And then the answers are there. You just know, you just know, you just feel it. You just feel it with everything in your heart that um, this is what I'm going to do. And you don't even regret. You don't even, hmm, you don't even think about it again. You just never cross in your mind again. What is this wish fulfillment in the heart space for Aquarius? Why is the nine of cups here? Why is the nine of cups here? I love this. Oh, five of 
detox because you let it go. You let all the disappointments go. You let all of the expectations go. And that changed everything. It changed everything. It changed your stars here when you let go of the disappointments. And I think a lot of that was you disappointed yourself here. You thought you were going to be somewhere different. You thought you were going to be with someone different. You thought things were going to be different. It caused you to pull back into the shadows. You had to reassess. You had to rethink about this because how could you have been wrong? How could you have been so wrong? Well, that was all for purpose to lead you to this massive, massive transformation, transformational energy at its finest. You had to be brought to the dark there in order to understand the light, in order to master the light. You had to have the energy vampires there to open in order to understand that you have control over what you are giving to others, that they cannot take from you what you are not giving. And you had to really learn that. You had to learn, understand the idea of replenishment. It doesn't come from just giving and giving and giving. That's just depleting. It has to come from source. It has to come from that higher voice of yours, that higher being of yours. And you are absolutely understanding that now. My God, does it change everything. It changes your stars. Just let the disappointments go. Let the idea of disappointment go and move into this thriving, beautiful new universe you have created here that is filled with truths and possibilities and streams of income, all kinds of streams of income come in from this kind of feeling, from this kind of mentality here. So glorious. Let's see where this reciprocity is coming from with this Queen of Cups, this abundant, uh, abundance coming to you, this abundance being offered to Aquarius now. The two of wands, it comes again from this decision you're making. You're right in the middle here. You're right in the, uh, the V part of the decision. With the, look at this. They came out. The devil just popped right out. It is. It's, it's crippling you. This indecision is crippling you, Aquarius. It's time to decide. You've got to make a decision to move toward the light, to come out of the shadows, to expose yourself here. Expose your underbelly here. It's time. It's time. Don't get up in your head about this. Don't get addicted to the working toward the dream. The, the goal is to get to the dream here, to get to the uh, retirement here. There just seems to be like a, so you don't have to work so hard for it, making your money work for you rather than you working for your money. There's almost this addiction to going back to those old patterns, those old patterns of thought that you have to work harder, that you have to put in more hours, that you have to uh, sacrifice more and give up more. That's an old pattern of thinking. It's got to go. It is not serving you. It's time to let that go. Just release that into the sea here and watch it wash away. It no longer serves you. It is no longer for purpose. It's time to walk into your purpose now. It's time to walk into what you have created now. You've been and privy, you've been uh, uh, receiving information from spirit here, downloading information from spirit here, and that may seem confusing. It may seem contradictory to what your belief system is, but this is you giving up your belief system, you letting go of that toxic pattern that you have of jumping right back into the shadows to reassess, to reanalyze, and just stepping into it and really experiencing it, really experiencing it, not being afraid to experience it because then you're experiencing the good and you're experiencing the return of energy and the light energy instead of always battling this dark that you've been battling in the past. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's look at this honoring. Let's look at this honoring of you. I'm loving this. Something being given to you and the world, the world. I mean, just the sky's the limit here. So let's take a look at that. Paint of wands, some kind of inspired action, some kind of journey coming up, some kind of inspired journey coming up. This is very serendipitous trip. So something coming in, something, some kind of offer, some kind of invite, some kind of uh, something that you would normally jump back in the shadows from. You would normally say, no, I can't do that. And maybe there's a, a, a balance here, a partner here that's saying, yeah, why not? Why don't we try that? Why don't we try that? opens up the door to opportunity for you. It gives you this idea of these other streams of income. Instead of working harder, you're just working so much smarter and you're figuring this out on this little journey you're going on with some kind of journey coming up, some kind of fantastical spiritual journey coming up that maybe doesn't start out spiritual, uh, the spiritual retreat, but it sure ends up that way for you because everything changes. I mean, your stars literally change 
uh, when you come to this realization that this is up to me, that I have control over this, that I have control over the way I'm feeling about this, that I can let go of the disappointments, that it doesn't have to be the way I thought it was going to be. And I can move into this new light, move into this new power of mind, make the decision to move forward, just make a decision, just making no decision is still a decision, but at least you are done with the deciding factor of it. You're just done. You're leaving it behind. You're investing in something new. There's new investments here. You giving your money to investments here and investing very, very wisely. Like you've got some kind of inside information, nothing illegal, nothing like this. It's just some kind of tip that you get that you invest very, very wisely in because you're such a smart money manager here. You're very, very good at finances here. So that is beautiful. That is glorious. That's going to pay off a lot more than you're even counting on. You're just hoping that's a little bump and it's way more than you thought it was. And it allows you just to open up to other possibilities, other investments, other opportunities really start to open up when you let go of the disappointment, Aquarius, when you let go of the dark, when you let go of the tether that you have to the dark here. And it's just a toxic pattern. It's just a pattern that you're breaking. You're breaking. That's why you're right in the middle of trying to decide do I let go of the old me? And yes, yeah, you do. Because there's a brand new you ahead. There's a brand new experience ahead. And it's really fulfilling and really uh, makes you happy. Makes you happy. Gets you out of that darkness, out of that dark forest there. It's just brilliant. It's brilliant. All right, Spirit, any last advice, any last words? King of Swords, there you are. There you are. The King of Swords, the decision is made. The truth comes out, the your truth, what you want to do, where you want to go, and what you want to make. Sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. This is a miracle. This is a miracle coming to you, and the miracle is letting go of the dark here, letting go of the fear of uh, disappointment or the fear of failure, failure here, just really, really coming out of the shadows and exposing yourself. <laughs> Nice to see you, Aquarius. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is beautiful. All right, Aquarius, I think I will leave it here. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Aquarius, I am sending you so much love and light through this beautiful transformation of yours. And uh, yeah, let me know. Leave me a comment. Let me know what this is all about. All right, Aquarius, uh, I will definitely tune in with you soon.